Hello crafty friends, welcome to a new series called No Regrets. Recently I asked you what your biggest craft supply regret was. What was the thing that you bought and really regretted it? And I've taken some of those answers and created a series of videos for you in which I use those supplies or tools if I have them and hopefully give you lots of ideas of how you can use them so that you no longer regret buying them. So when I asked the question, what's your biggest craft supply regret? Quite a few people said washi tape. They buy it because they like the look of it, they like the idea of it, but they don't really know what to do with it. So they've got lots of unused rolls in their stash. So today we're gonna to be focusing on washi tape. And this is my washi tape stash. I used to have a lot more washi tape, some of which I used and some of which I ended up selling because I just wasn't using it. But this is all I have now and it's more than enough. And I keep it organized in these little boxes, two boxes, and I've got all my reds, pinks, yellows, oranges here, and then some greens, some blues, purples, multicolored, neutrals like brown black white and then gold and rose gold and i find color a really useful way of storing things like washi tape because when i'm working on a crafty project i'm often thinking about colors and what colors to put together and what colors work well with each other so i just want to grab something of a particular color and this works well for me. I confess I tend to use washi tape more in scrapbooking and journaling and less in card making, but I would like to use more of it in card making. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna share some ideas on ways we can use our washi tape to make cards and then also make a card for you. Right, enough waffling, let's get crafting. So for today, I've got a bunch of smooth white cardstock card panels that are approximately four by six inches. And the first thing we're gonna do is take some washi tape, lay it on some cardstock, bit of a jaunty angle. We'll do a couple of stripes. This is just gold foiled washi tape. You can use any color you like with this. Snip off the excess and then just pop it in an embossing folder and run it through a die cutting machine. And there you have some beautiful gold foil embossing on a full panel of embossing. And I don't know about you, but I can't really tell that that's tape stuck on because it's been pressed down. It looks like it's part of the white paper. So I think that's a really effective way of using washi tape. Of course, you don't just have to use gold foil or metallic washi tapes. You can use any washi tape for this technique. But what if you didn't want to emboss the whole panel? Well, you could add some washi tape to a piece of cardstock, trim it down, and then you can pop that in your embossing folder wherever you like on the pattern. And they have a lovely embossed strip with some gold and a bit of white on it and the pattern. And then you can glue it on the front of a card panel. Press it down. And it doesn't matter if it's not quite uh, straight there. You can always trim the panel down, make it smaller, but that's, a bit more of a classically clean and simple look. So you've got all this lovely empty white space, whereas on this one it's filled with embossing. And you could pop some kind of focal image on there with a sentiment, and that would be a really quick and easy simple card to do with washi tape and embossing folders. So if you've got lots of washi tape that you really just wanna use up, this is a really good way of doing it. Turn it into patterned paper. It doesn't matter that the pattern doesn't match up. Just make it look aesthetically pleasing. You can overlap them slightly or you can try and get them exactly aligned. You could alternate colors or if you've got a rainbow of washi tapes, you could do the colors of the rainbow 
or do some kind of two-tone effect. So you can treat that now like a piece of pattern paper and do with it whatever you would do with a piece of pattern paper. So I think I shall cut some little leaves So there we have a whole host of leaf shapes cut from my green washi tape pattern paper and you'd never know they were cut from washi. And because the pattern is quite faint and small, it just gives them a nice little bit of texture. Another thing you can do with die cuts is create the look of a dipped sentiment. So I've got a love sentiment die here, a strip of gold foil on white cardstock. And I'll line that up there and use a bit of washi tape to hold it in place. That's another thing you can use washi for. If you've got ugly washi that you really don't like, then use it as uh, just sticky tape or masking tape. So you might just need to burnish that down with your finger to make sure it's well stuck. So I'll just pop this on here so you can see the effect. You've got a sentiment that looks like it's been dipped in gold. You don't obviously have to use gold or white cardstock. You can use whatever colour cardstock you like and whatever washi tape you like. But that's a nice effect. You can also cover the whole of the sentiment in the same or different washi tapes. So, so for this next technique, I'm using plain coloured washi tape. And I just stuck some on this piece of white cardstock. So I popped my washi taped panel in here in my stamp positioner and I've got a, a a splotchy mixed media-esque type stamp which I'm going to use to add pattern to my washi tape. Now washi tape is generally, well there are different types of washi tape, one's quite papery and one's quite slick, almost waxed and uh, this is the kind of slick waxed one so I'm going to use a solvent based ink stays on is the one I've got although I think I might have re-inked this with some archival ink but that will do the same job so try not to disturb your stamping for a while it will need to dry out on the slick surface of the washing. I'm just giving this a clean. So I've got Ranger Archival ink here, Paradise Teal. So again, this is a, a solvent based ink, which is uh, good for stamping on non-porous surfaces. But again, you have to leave it to dry. This one does bead up a little bit, so it gives you a certain look slightly sketchy look so if you've got a little bit that you're not too bothered about you can just press down on it if it smears it means it needs a bit longer to dry you could coax it along with some warm air and if you're a bit impatient like I'm feeling today you can sort of blot some up so you can see how that blues come up a little bit so that obviously needs a bit longer to dry. The black seems to be pretty much dry now, but I'd probably leave it for a bit longer if I wasn't filming a video. So washi tape is designed to be removable tape. So if you're careful, you can peel this off your bit of card and there you have now a piece of patterned washi tape which you can now use on your project. Obviously you can make longer strips if you need to. This is just a, a demonstration piece. So washi tape is very easy to cut into a fishtail. So if you want to make a quick banner, washi tape is an excellent choice. And to get a perfect fishtail, Take your washi tape and fold it in half so the sticky side is on the outside. These two bits aren't sticking together. Get it nice and lined up. Let me try and do it so uh, you can see what I'm doing. So it's folded in half and then take a pair of scissors and do one snip. And when you open it back up, you will have a perfect fish tail. 
So I'll do the same thing again with this piece of gold foil washi tape. Fold it in half, cut, and you end up with a fish tail that you can then add to your project. And it's a really quick way of adding some colour and pattern. And of course, when you cut a fish tail, you automatically cut a pointy banner. So there's the fish tail. And at the other end of that, you get a point. So you can use that instead of that if you want. And the beauty of washi tape is that it is repositionable and you can, if you put it down one key, peel it up and put it back down straight. So with this one, for example, you could put a couple more down here and then you could add a sentiment and you'd be done. And you'd have lots of lovely white space to make this a clean and simple card. Another use for your washi tapes is to create a mat for mounting a panel on. So you can take a piece of colourful washi, whatever colour you like, go around the outside of a piece of card. Snip off the overhang. You can neaten up the edges if you want to, trim your panel down to an appropriate size. So this can be the panel that sits on the front of your card or you could even do it straight on your card blank and then pop another panel on top and it looks like you've used pattern paper underneath. So I'm going to do a bit more stamping with my washi tape. So this is the bit I made earlier with the green washi tape on white cardstock, nothing else there. And I'm going to use the same stamp that I used earlier to add pattern to my rainbow washi and I'll stamp it this time with embossing ink. Now I'm going to dip it in gold embossing powder. So you have to give it a really good flick to get rid of excess embossing powder because washi tape is naturally sticky just by the fact that it's on a roll and sticky from one bit of tape is on the face of the other bit of tape underneath it if you see what I mean so give it a good flick and if you want to just tidy it up a bit with a brush so there we have a lovely bit of gold heat embossing on some green washi tape some tricks to this I think are experiment with your cardstock washi tape and embossing ink and powder combination uh, yours may react differently to mine. Definitely heat your heat tool up good and hot before you start so you can minimise the amount of time you're heating the tape. And also just keep moving the heat gun. Don't just point it in one area and then move on. Just let the heat do its work gently because this is tape, it's got adhesive on the back and too much heat for too long may affect the uh, stickiness and may even you know make the tape bubble or something so those are just a few tips so you can use this as is or you can peel it off and use it as a strip so instead of a green and white patterned washi i've now got green and white pattern with some gold on just be a little bit careful don't flex it too much because the uh, embossing might start to peel off but if you're just going to lift it up and pop it on something else then it'll be absolutely fine i think so you can heat emboss on washi washi tape is great for masking so i've got my grip mat here with a piece of smooth white card stuck on and i'm just going to pop a few bits of washi of different widths. This is good if you've got, again, washi that you're no longer in love with. You don't want to throw it away, but you need to use it before the adhesive goes off. Because sometimes if you keep washi tape for a long time, like several years, uh, sometimes the, 
glue will I don't know start to break down perish and it'll lose its stickiness or it'll become super sticky and you just won't be able to use it so if you want to use your washi before its shelf life is up then masking is a great way to do that so I've just got four different widths of washi there and I've got some stormy sky distress oxide I'm just gonna blend that on And I think I'll just throw in a bit of wilted violet just for a bit of variation. And while we're here, just splatter on a bit of water to show that you can still use this with a bit of water. It will cope with getting a little bit wet. I definitely recommend making sure your paper is dry before removing the washi tape because if it's wet you might rip it and just to prevent rippage a trick to removing tape and this isn't just washi tape it's only kind of masking tape is fold it right back on itself so it's flat against the tape or the surface and then just maybe angle it slightly and draw it back slowly and that should reduce ripping. Also, you can warm it with a hairdryer or a heat tool and that will soften the adhesive. And these will be good for a few uses. So don't just th throw them in the bin. You can use them a few times. You might want to wipe off the ink if you're changing colours. And there you have some lovely, sharp, crisp, crisp, that's the word, some lovely crisp white lines on a distressed background. One of the things I really like to do with washi tape as a mask is to tear it. So. Let's just move these guys out of the way because I want to use the thicker bit. So I just pop it on my glass mat and tear it in half, wiggling it a bit to make it get a lovely, interesting, raggedy edge. And let's just do one at a time, actually. So pop that there. Pop that on there, across there. Also going to add some sticky notes as an additional mask. And we'll get our faded jeans and wilted violet again. And before you take this off, you can stamp in there as well. Let me get my little stamp, pop it on a block. And let's have a think, I might spritz it with water to stamp it. This will lift a bit of the, bit of the colour. Lock that up. So the two patterns don't match up and uh, there was a bit more water on it the second time I did it, so it's a bit more splodgy. But it doesn't matter, I can put my focal point here and that will sort of disguise any discrepancies. So I can take my masks off, take the washi tape off again carefully, slowly. And instead of a crisp line, I've got a really interesting raggedy line. I could have heat embossed on there before I took the masking off or I could stamp over it now to create a, an extra pattern somewhere. And then this one, very similarly, I'm going to pop my raggedy edge washi tape back on. We'll go down here. No, we'll go back up the top, but in a different way. I'm putting the raggedy edges facing outwards. 
gonna pop some sticky note over there like that just cover that up so I've covered up the middle bit and now I'm gonna get my inks again done we could splatter on some water again and do a light misting with a few larger spots take off my masks again it's a good idea to make sure it's dry first and then I've got a raggedy edge white stripe across the card front so it's basically the same technique just masking off different areas and I really like the effect that you get with both. So another fun technique you can do with washi tape is a weaving. So I'm going to take a bit of this a light blue washi tape, pop it on there and then take a bit of this dark blue washi tape and pop it on there. You want to get them at right angles to one another and they don't have to be stuck down particularly well. And then I'm going to get a bit of this light blue and stick it over that washi tape. And then a bit of this dark blue and stick it under the top one here. So I've got to peel it back as far as this bit of blue. And it goes over that one and then that one lays down again. And then we need a bit of the light blue again and that can come in from this side so peel that blue one back pop that down so that will be underneath that one and then it goes over that one and then you can carry on so on and so forth until you've covered the whole piece if you want This uses up quite a lot of washi tape so again if you've got rolls you just want to get used this is a good technique and the good thing about using washi tape for this technique is that washi tape is repositionable so if you get it wrong it's really easy just to peel up and redo but also you can stick things down and they stay where you put them until you need to pick them up for the next bit of weaving. So they have a lovely piece of weaved washi tape cardstock. You can trim off the edges. You could use this as a whole panel. So a whole background piece, pop your focal point of sentiment on. If you wanted to go for a cleaner and simpler look, you could die cut something from this. If you wanted to say protect the front a bit you could put on some clear packing tape and that would give it a glossy look and lock everything down then I could take some circle dies and cut some circles obviously from it or any shape I liked so now I've got some patchwork or woven circles that I can add to a card front, I can pop some up on foam tape to keep it nice and clean and simple. You could pop a bit of say gold glitter washi tape like this here. Pop that on, you could do it at an angle. I think that might look quite nice. Pop this big one about a third of the way down. So if I pop this one here, there's a little bit of the light blue there and it looks as if the pattern is continuous. So that would be a whole light blue square there. So that's quite a fun thing to do. So we could do the same with this one here.
and then we can pop a focal image on there or a sentiment or both. So this is a, a gold sentiment that I just happened to have cut in my box of pre-cut die cuts. So that could go on top of there like that. If I was gonna cut it out again, I could cut it out of cardstock that I've covered in that glitter tape so it matches completely. And then for a bit of extra texture, I'm gonna add some Morning Dew Nouveau Drops. These dry clear. So once they're dry, they look a bit like glass drops that you've stuck on your card. So when the drops are dry, I will stick this on to the front of a four by six inch card blank. So you can use washi tape with stencils. So I'm gonna cover, well maybe not cover the whole thing, but put washi tape across this stencil on top of a piece of smooth white cardstock. Just going to go across it like that in rainbow order. And now I'm going to run this through my cuttle bag with the embossing sandwich that I use for stencils. So just going to pop this on the rubber mat and pop that over the top. That's the back. I hope you can see that there's some embossing there. So the pattern has been embossed onto the cardstock, but it's also pushed the washi tape down into the gap. So now what I'm going to do is with a very sharp craft knife, go around the edge of not every single shape, because I think that would take me far too long. Don't want to press too hard because I'm not trying to cut the card, I'm trying to just cut the washi tape. It doesn't matter if you cut the card, as long as you don't cut the card all the way around the edge of the shape. And then you can carefully peel off the washi. If you find your washi tape's being stubborn and not wanting to peel off your stencil, you can always give it a blast with a hairdryer to soften the adhesive and what you end up with is an embossed pattern with some of the raised bits highlighted by washi tape and if you find that you want to highlight a bit more you can always do it individually i've just taken my stencil lined it back over put some washi over the whole that I want to embellish. And I can trim out that shape there. And now I've got another one. And I can always go in and neaten up the edge with my craft knife. So I haven't made a particularly fantastic job of that, but I hope you get the picture. So I've made a few cards and card panels with the washi tape techniques that we've used today. This is the one you saw me make with the weaving pattern. These two I made with the masking technique. I chopped down the piece that I made to make two cards and so each card would have a bit of white space there to help keep them clean and simple. On this one I just added some black and white washi tape and I drew a black line there added a celebrate today at the top and some morning dew nouveau drops this one i ran through my die cutting machine with a circle embossing folder before sticking it on my card and then i die cut some leafy shapes out of some cardstock that i'd covered in gold washi tape added those on added a hello sentiment and some more nouveau drops this is another one that i made with masking all I did was I ran a piece of gold foil washi across the front there, 
die cut out the word hello with a hello die popped it up on a bit of craft foam and then added some drops on the front too and i really like that i think it might not be classed as clean and simple because you've got torn edges and distressing in the background but i do think it is clean i think it's got uh, very few elements on it so it it speaks for itself it's not complicated anyway these are the two i did with the bits that i ran through an embossing folder so with this one where i embossed the whole panel i just added a circle of vellum with a black with love on top and then a white circle there that is on craft foam and the with love is on craft foam as well so maybe not clean because of the embossed background but definitely simple and i think keeping it white with gold with black really uh, gives it a lot of impact this is the one where i just embossed the strip and then stuck it on a card panel and i also used that dipped love word and popped it down there and again really clean and simple i didn't even add any nouveau drops to this one so i think that's quite striking as it is and the pattern here really pops because this is plain and empty and then this is the last card that i made from these techniques today earlier on we just added the fishtail banners up there i added some more down the bottom then i used a rectangle frame die to cut out the frame popped the main part on popped the frame up on foam tape and then added a happy birthday and i used the same gold foil washi tape to cover some cardstock before i did the die cutting and these are up on foam tape as well so they're the same level as the frame and then i added some more of the morning dew nouveau drops and that's it that's lots of different ideas of things to do with washi tapes don't let them languish unloved in your stash get them out and get them on card fronts i hope this video has given you lots of ideas hints and tips if it has do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments like subscribe i already said thumbs up didn't i subscribe ring the notification bell and i'll see you back here very soon thanks for watching bye for now